It is obvious that the government of India made a fundamental error in thinking that they could engage in supporting criminal activity against Canadians here on Canadian soil, whether it be murders or extortion or other violent acts. It is absolutely unacceptable. While attempts have been made by the RCMP and national security officials to work with the government of India and Indian law enforcement counterparts on this matter, they have been repeatedly refused. This is why, this weekend, Canadian officials took an extraordinary step. They met with Indian officials to share RCMP evidence which concluded six agents of the government of India are persons of interest in criminal activities. And despite repeated requests to the government of India, it has decided not to cooperate. To be clear, we're not seeking diplomatic confrontation with India, but we will not sit quietly as agents of any country are linked to efforts to threaten, harass, or even kill Canadians, period. Canada is guided by the rule of law, we follow the Vienna Convention at all times, and we expect, of course, India to do the same as well.